Have you ever stood in front of a crowd of people and suddenly realized that you can't remember what you're talking about? Or maybe you're sitting for an exam and you're trying to remember the answer to a question. You know you know it, but you just can't remember it. And five minutes after the exam is over, the answer pops into your head. Now memory is a funny thing, isn't it? It's very interesting how we can watch a movie and remember it easily, but we have to struggle so much just to make something stick for one of our school's exams. Well, before we try to understand memory, it's important we learn something about the human brain. Now, I'm sure most of you know, the human brain is made up of billions of nerve cells, like this one. And each nerve cell is connected to thousands of other nerve cells, leaving trillions and trillions of connections in our brain. And each connection is known as a synapse. Now, every part of our brain has a different function. And the part of our brain responsible for forming new memories is known as the hippocampus. See, whenever we experience something, our sense organs, our eyes, our ears, the receptors in our skin, send electrical signals to our brain. And the hippocampus receives all these signals and it decides what is important. And then it stores different pieces of information in different parts of our brain. So what we see can be stored somewhere. The movement, kinesthetics, that memory is stored somewhere. What we hear is stored somewhere else. What we taste, again, somewhere else. Now each of these bits of information is a pattern of connections between the nerve cells in our brain. And this is a physical representation of what a memory looks like inside our heads. As you can see, it's pretty scattered. In order to remember even the simplest thing, our brain has to go through trillions and trillions of connections just to find the right ones, then send electrical signals, receive electrical signals, put them all together, and finally get a memory. Whew. Now that's like standing in a huge forest. And at first, remembering something is difficult because we have to cut and chop our way through the overgrowth to find what we're looking for. But if we keep doing it again and again, then that path becomes a clear road and it becomes easy for us to remember something. But if we stop doing that, if we don't use that road, then the undergrowth begins growing and covering it and we begin to forget. Another way to increase memories, ladies and gentlemen, is to be passionate. That creates strong connections and helps us remember. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.